Hello everyone and welcome to a new video. This is going to be Board System Test 44 with the Firelight MS4424B Fire Alarm System. So let's go ahead and get started. <laughs> First notification appliance on today's system, we have a Wheelock Airlock HNK-3 low frequency sounder, and this device will be doing code 3. Still, the system has a 2400-T smoke and heat detector. If we move down, still the Simplex 2090-9806 test station. For second notification appliance, we have a system sender SR remote strobe. This device is set on 1575 Candela. If we move down, we have a Firelight BG12L, same junction box, and below that, we have a Firelight BG10. All right, to start today's test, I'm going to go ahead and pull the Firelight BG10. Here we go. Three, two, one. The alarm is silenced. For next test today, I'm going to go ahead and activate the smoke detector by just spraying some smokes. Here we go. Should be enough. Should go off any second now. Hopefully. I will now go ahead and reset this pull station. So I'm just going to go ahead and insert my screwdriver. I'm going to begin turning the screw. As I mentioned in a lot of my other previous tests, um, usually you have an Allen key that you would use to undo this, but because I lost that little Allen screw, I'm now using a um, just a screw that I had. Um, you technically shouldn't do this. If that happened in a real building, um, you would probably be replacing this pull station. But because this is a demo system, I did improvise here, so go ahead and open it up. It automatically automatically resets itself because it's spring loaded. There's the inside. All right, I'm now going to go ahead and insert the screw, and I'm just going to go ahead and tighten it back up. You don't want to over tighten it, but you want it to just be tight enough that it's right up against the butt. That's just about right. All right, and now I'm going to go into the main fire alarm control panel, and I'm going to hit system reset. All right, to finish off today's test, I'm going to go ahead and pull the Firelight BG12L. Here we go. Three, two, one. And the alarm is silenced. I will now go ahead and reset the whole station. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and insert my key. I'm going to turn it. See the handle automatically goes back up. There's the inside. It's going to close back into place just like that. And now I'm going to go into the main fire alarm control panel. And I'm going to hit system reset. 
All right, guys, thanks for watching this video. Be sure to rate, comment, and subscribe. Have a great day, and I will see you in the next video.